House of Dallas TM Copyright Linton O'Neill Dallas Estate TM Copyright Awak Indian Nation in America TM Copyright C slash O Executor Office 2322 East Sabina Greater Port More St. Catherine, Zamiaka, Jamaica Commonwealth To God be the glory Certified documents copy to the following Office of Templar Church The Crown City of London, Crown Office Row Office of Governor General Commonwealth of Jamaica Office of Secretary of State United States of America An authenticated foreign document Protonotary or court clerk, file or record on demand FN 03-8811-U518768-U0916197-7 OTM Copyright Bond LOD 1609197-1 Hyatt Copyright Dated, May 6, 2020 Superior Court of Record, Conditional Acceptance and Offer Government of Jamaica, REF Case, Right to Travel Plaintiff Versus, Bond Linton O'Neill Dallas, Recorded Claim Hashtag LOD 1609-1971-HHIA Defendant Immunity Treasury Registration Exempt Number 11284106 Bond Number A5187686 CUSIP Number 31639 Inception Date December 10, 1981 Hold Harmless Indemnity Bond Tender to all courts and prosecutors as holder in due course of their fiduciary duty and liability. This hold harmless indemnity bond is to be initiate in regards to all legal matter or claim brought against the Linton O'Neill Dallas Estate in Trust. For I, Dallas, Linton O'Neill, conditionally accept all charges and plead guilty to the facts, but not to a charge or claim and undertake settlement poor, UCC 3 to 311, as follows. In consideration of the fact that no lawful money of account exists in circulation, and Article 1 Section 10 of the Organic National Constitution specifying the only lawful money available for the settlement of debts, and in consideration of the fact that I suffered dishonor regarding this or any matter, claim and or associated accounts. I hereby underwrite this bond and contract with my private exempt number 11284106 and with my possession of $21 U.S. postal money order in lawful currency representing 21 troy ounce of gold. Acting as additional surety collateral in lawful money, and as witness by the attached writ of conveyance and surety bond, for settlement regarding any and all obligation of performance, loss or cost sustained by the government of Jamaica, and the respectful citizen thereof, regarding this or any matter. This instrument is subject to enforcement poor, 3-311. Uniform Commercial Code 3 to 311 Accord and Satisfaction by Use of an Instrument A. If any person against whom a claim is assert proves that, I, that person in good faith tendered an instrument to the claimant as full satisfaction of the claim. In addition, 3 to 311 2D. A claim is discharged if the person against whom the claim is assert proves that within a reasonable time before collection of the instrument was initiate, the claimant, or an agent of the claimant having direct responsibility with respect to the disputed obligation, knew that the instrument is tender in full satisfaction of the claim. Judiciary ACT, 24 September 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 20 Greater than 1789 Judiciary ACT, 25 June 1948 CH 645 Greater than 62 STAT 685 all rights reserved. Page 2. Enforcement remedies are available for 3 to 307 Notice of Breach of Fiduciary Duty. A. In this section, 1. Fiduciary means an agent, trustee, partner, corporate officer, or director, or other representative owing a fiduciary duty with respect to an instrument. 2. Represented person means the principal, beneficiary, partnership, corporation, or other person to whom the duty stated in paragraph 1 is owed. b. If i. An instrument is taken from a fiduciary for payment, or collection, or for value, 2. 
The taker has knowledge of the fiduciary status of the fiduciary. 3. The represented person makes a claim to the instrument or its proceeds on the basis that the transaction of the fiduciary is a breach of fiduciary duty. The following rules apply. 1. Notice of breach of fiduciary duty by the fiduciary is notice of the claim by the represented person. Other clauses also applies. I have further paid the freight fee for this vessel document court. By way of United States of America $1 adhesive postal stamp representing 1 troy ounce of gold, which entitle me, and this document the right of passage as postmaster per Universal Postal Union requirements. Unless the court or prosecutor can swear under oath with full commercial liability as fiduciary, what other constitutionally required lawful money can be required provide accord and satisfaction by use of instrument tendered, this matter is settled, and all claims are satisfied upon tender. If anyone claims a superior claim to mine in the matter, let them bring forth their bond and bring there be ten, or four hundred and ten, or whatever claim forms, sworn under penalty of perjury as a damaged party man or woman with first-hand knowledge. I now issue mandatory judicial notice to this court to dismiss, settle, and set off with full satisfaction and accord any claim in full, with prejudice due as no claim remains against my trust and estate in this action. The party named the government of Jamaica, its agents and principal, by their default, and non-response to rebut this offer point by point, now fails to state a claim for which relief can be granted at this time. The court clerk, or prosecutor, or the court may now dismiss on their own accord, as their initial charging instrument is now settled satisfied, and closed with full satisfaction, and accord without disagreement to do so, unless the government entity have remaining claims to make against Linton O'Neill Dallas Estate and Trust. If further necessary, I require the prosecutor to certify my right of subjugation using his or her own bond if necessary, which were underwritten using my name or any derivatives thereof. This subjugation is for settling all accounts relating to this matter using existing collateral. I stand in honor having brought forth my superior bond and claims, thus inferior bonds, or lack thereof should cause the release of all unverified remaining claims against the defendant Linton O'Neill Dallas upon receipt. As executor of, and over the estate vessel named or known as Linton O'Neill Dallas, and as postmaster of this vessel document court. Instruct the appointed fiduciary trustee to be the court clerk, who administrate the foreign court vessel in dry dock, who is tasked to then discharge the account, or case in reference to LINTON O'Neill Dallas, and discharge, and dismiss all defendants with prejudice. Timely notice and default. Let this bond and contract stand for as full accord and satisfaction for securing subsequent, related, or superseding case accounts using this same bond. If there is no superior claims made, or superior bonds are presented, or outright refusal per uniform commercial code, you will have 10 calendar days from the date of receipt of this communication to respond. Whereby you will have to rebut every one of the accompanying governing proof of claim, and or provide facts and conclusion of law supporting new position. After those 10 calendar days, this presentment, contract stands as agreed and binding by default, thus all related matters are considered settled, discharged, and dismissed. Enforcement right may be enforced in accordance with 3 to 307. Notice of breach of fiduciary duty regarding a registered security U.S. Postal Service. Additionally, this contract subjects all parties to binding per the Federal Arbitration Act if necessary, prior to proceeding on. The original related matter i.e. right to travel, and thus this contract act as an estoppel in that matter until such time binding arbitration determination is confirmed. Void if prohibited by law. Judiciary ACT 24 September 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 20 Greater than 1789 Judiciary ACT 25 June 1948 CH 645 Greater than 62 STAT 685 All rights reserved Page 3 Writ of Conveyance and Surety Bond Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas, or Dallas, Linton O'Neill, grantor and principal of, four, and over the Linton O'Neill Dallastum Copyright Estate and Trust, the undersigned principal, hereafter principal, does hereby solemnly affirm, declare, and state the following, 
1. Principal is competent to state the matter set forth herewith. 2. Principal has personal knowledge of the facts stated herein. 3. All the facts stated herein are true, correct, complete, and not frivolous, in accordance with principal's first-hand knowledge and comprehension, and if called upon to testify as witness the principal shall so state. Statement of the Facts 1. On this date May 6, 2020 Principal, pledged $21 in lawful currency U.S. postal money order in the presence of the quorum witnesses, indicated below. 2. The principal had the quorum witnesses verify the value amount of $21 in lawful currency U.S. postal money order. 3. The principal had the quorum witnesses view the date, as May 6, 2020 on the U.S. postal money order issued by the United States Post Office bearing serial number number 26621182146. 4. The principal did take back all $21 U.S. postal money order into his possession to be held indefinitely. 5. The principal does hereby make this surety, pledge, and bond under his house seal, as full faith and credit guaranteed under seal in lawful currency, or money of account of the United States of America. Additionally, to any lawful bill, including true bill, duly presented to the undersigned principal, in the matter of correct public judicial actions in the form of Original Rules, Original Jurisdiction, for the benefit and credit of the private party listed as Principal within this document 6. The principal's use of the postal money orders is to be the surety bond established by the quorum witnesses of the undersigned the good credit, in the some certain amount of $21 in lawful currency U.S. postal money order, which is backed by gold and secured by the United States of America Treasury, available to bond the actions of the private party listed as principal while existing in America. 7. The principal now has a bond in lawful tender of $21 in lawful currency U.S. postal money order, coinage act of 1792, bond of identity and character as proof positive, competent, evidence that this principle cannot be bankrupt, the cow sababini, cannot be the doctrine of session bono rum, or a form of paupers, dolus trust. Quorum witness the mouth of two or more witnesses establishes a matter. Bye bye. Bye bye. Dallas, Linton O'Neill TM Copyright, voluntarily declare under penalty of perjury under the laws of the state domiciled House of Dallas and from without the United States identified in 26U.S.C.7701, A9, and A10, and under 28U.S.C.1746, that the foregoing facts are true and correct to the best of my knowledge and belief, so help me God. Date, May 6, 2020. Phone, 1-876-489-6016. Email, rossdallas1 at gmail.com rossdallas1 at gmail.com by linton o'neill dallas authorized representative by dallas linton o'neill principal copyright slash copy claim may 6th 2020